Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a program in Python that can search through a folder and find any keywords and documents within that folder um, that you define. So let's hop right into it. Um, I always like to start off with the modules that we're going to need. Um, so the first one we're going to need is OS, which I know for a fact works on Windows, and I'm not so sure on other operating systems. Um, but what this basically does is give you basic operating system functionality from within Python, uh, such as listing the directories or changing the current directory. And then import UUID. Now, this isn't a necessity, but I'm going to be using it for this tutorial. UUID stands for Universal Unique Identifier. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to generate a random ID for the file, so that way if we search for the keyword multiple times, that um, we have a unique file. So let's get right into this. Um, first, we're gonna wanna start off by defining the R global variables. So right here, uh, we are defining the ID as uuid.uuid4. And this is a function that basically returns a universal identifier. Um, there are different variants of this, depending on what you want. Um, there's three, two, and I think there's just normal UID, or there's one. Yeah, So, but we use four for this one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just what I prefer. And we're going to create this array, sorry, this list called contains. And basically, this is going to store the name of any document that um, is going to have that keyword. It's going to file the path in the name. Now, this again isn't necessary. If you're working with millions and millions of files, this isn't going to be practical, especially if you're doing a common key term, uh, because it's going to take up too much memory. Um, what we are actually going to end up doing is saving to a file the name of the path anyways. So this isn't necessary. It's just to, at the end of the, after we do the search, it's gonna show you what you have immediately, but you can always go to that document that I talked about. Um, all right, and we are going to start by introducing this function. So we're gonna create a function called change path, and we're going to ask for input and store it into a path variable or a variable called path and we're also going to ask for the keyword that we're looking for now this is the path of the root folder we're going to be searching through um and then we're going to call another function called search folder Okay, and we have this other function called search folder, which accepts the path and the keyword that are just specified. Um, and we're going to establish contains this variable up here as global. So that way we can um, continue to access it from, without the, with, uh, from within the global scope, not just within the scope of the function. And then we're going to define the directories and files within the original folder using this command os.lister. Now, what's confusing about this is it doesn't just list directories, it also lists files. So if you have a folder with uh, michael.png on it, that's also going to come up. Okay, then this returns a list. So we're going to iterate through that list with a for loop. And we are going to test if it ends in txt. Sorry. Uh, this can be anything you want it to be. And in fact, you could do something like this where it's like extensions equals um, dot doc x and then you can say um, uh, 
uh, you could iterate through um, things in this extension, or you can say if directory dot is in. I don't know. Um, that would work. It would require a little bit more work, um, but it is definitely doable. Um, we're gonna do a try here, and this is because um, sometimes when it's grabbing the uh, you'll see, you'll see here. Um, we're going to establish the file anyways that we are talking about and we're going to open it. And then we're going to test if the keyword is inside of file.read. So we're going to open the path and then add the directory, which is, um, what we're iterating through in this for loop. We're going to read it and then we're going to test if the keyword is in this file. So what this does is this takes, if it's a TXT, it's going to take it and it's going to open it up and read it and store it as a string. And then it's going to test if the string, or it's going to store it as a, an object and then use this dot read to convert it into a string and test if it's a keyword. Um, and then if it does, it means that it has the keyword, if it, if it has a keyword in the file. So we're going to do a couple of things here. We are going to append that um, list with the directory, which means we're going to add on to it. And then we are going to open a file called save file. Um, and this is to any path you want to. This I have established as the desktop. If you wanted to make this like a full fledged customizable um, program, I guess if you would, you can create a another Python, excuse me, another Python script called settings, where it asks for input to the default path, and then you can do something like import settings um, as long as they were in the same folder, like this was in the same folder as the settings Python file. Um, anyways, yeah, so you can get this path. This is predetermined. Like I said, you can change it. And it's going to add the keyword to it. It's going to add a space, and then it's going to add a string of the ID that we established earlier. And so that way it comes, and then we're going to add the .txt extension. And then um, in this case, we're going to append. And if there's nothing there already, we're going to write it. Um, and this just ensures, say you look through multiple folders with the same keyword, um, you can add that string or that unique ID, and then you'll know. You could do it with time. I didn't want to do it that way. I just preferred the unique identifier. Um, then you can, uh, you're going to write to the file, basically, um, the path that you found it at, and then a backslash where you can actually do forward slash, which is what I'm going to end up doing actually. And then the directory that it found, and then a enter, and then we're going to close that file. And if it doesn't work, we are going to pass. Now, what if there's another folder within that? Say you've got this folder called test and then when the, within that you have a folder called test2 and you want to check everything inside of there. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, another if statement within this for loop and we're going to say if the directory that we're currently on does not have a dot in the directory when it's split up character by character. So basically if there's no dot within the directory, we're going to recursively come back to this function and redefine the path as path plus slash plus directory because if there's no dot in it there's no extension that means it must be a directory um, great and that is this function for us so what we can do is we need to call this first function called change direct and then when it's done doing that it's going well within that it's going to call this and then when this is done it's going to print contains 
which is um, the list of everything that we have found so far. And then it, I add a little um, input, which is press enter to exit, so that way you actually see it before it goes. So let's test this out. Um, let's do this. Create a folder. Call this test. Within this folder, let's create a txt file called um, abcd.txt. And we're going to write little bean the boss is awesome. And then we're also going to create another folder inside of this folder called test2. And within that, we're going to create a file called uh, efgh.txt. And we can say uh, quick brown box. Okay, save that. You can save this. And then we are going to copy this path. And let's run this. Let's see what happens. So the path, I'm going to copy that in there. And the keywords, I'm going to look for little bean. Uh, yeah, little bean. And it found it right there. Now, um, we can also do box. And it found it right there. And now if I go to my desktop, I can show you the results to that. Okay, guys, I uh, I found out there was a little error with the writing a file portion. Um, I'm not quite sure if I changed anything on accident while copy and pasting it into here uh, from my notepad. Um, but this should be it. I'm not sure if I had like a double slash or something, but I don't see why that would even affect anything. Um, anyways, if you want to look over this real quick, that is what it looks like and it works. This is what I got in my desktop and it gave me the path to it. Now it does have these weird backslashes and forward slashes and uh, things like that. So, um, I think that's a result of making this a forward slash actually. So if we do backslash backslash, let's see how that works. Let's just see. Put in that path. Put in the boss. Oh, and I added this to see where the error was. And we got this. And yeah, there we go. All of the backslashes are in the same order. So with this, you're going to want to do the backslash backslash. And yeah, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if it helped you. Uh, if you are looking at this and seeing the improvements it can make, feel free to let me know. Uh, have a good one.